An update tonight on a story we first brought you as breaking last night at 10, a deadly stabbing outside a Pawtucket liquor store. Tonight, we're hearing from the family of the man who was killed. Leagues say it all started with an argument between his girlfriend and the girlfriend of the man accused of killing him. This morning, the alleged killer went before a judge and was held without bail on a first degree murder charge. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitt says more now from Pawtucket. The family of Ferdinand Reyes tells me he was a beloved father, son and brother who they say was targeted. Now they want justice and in a spot where he was fatally stabbed, a memorial now lies. I don't understand why him. The family of Ferdinand Reyes say it was heart wrenching to be face to face in court with the man charged for his murder. It was one of the worst things in the world to, to have to see his face. Police say it was 22 year old Michael Alvarado who stabbed Reyes Tuesday night feet away from Star Wine Liquors in Pawtucket following a fight. Alvarado took off, but police say later returned to the scene where he was arrested and charged with first degree murder. Wednesday, he was held without bail. How could you take somebody's life? How can you take a mother's son and you have no emotion on your face. There's no remorse. There's no nothing. The 34 year old from Providence who friends called Freddie. So he called him Freddie Ponce. You know, everybody knows him Ponce. Was a single dad raising his 15 year old son. He even survived brain cancer as a teen. His brother and sister in law say Reyes's son and his mom were his whole world. He's not in no gang, no drinks, no smoking. He don't do that. What he does is he lives for his son. For his mom, he did not deserve this. He was a good father. He was an awesome son to his mother. And the night of his murder, they say he was being just that, a good son. He went to do errands for his mom, for his family. And never made it home. Police say Alvarado confessed to them that the fight stemmed from a feud between his girlfriend and Reyes's girlfriend. And he fought his life for his girlfriend. The family says he was being followed for weeks. Now they hope Alvarado stays behind bars to feel the pain they're feeling now. He took a good person and I ain't never going to see him again. He has to stay in there for life. Somebody has to feel our pain. The family is now planning funeral services for Freddie. Alvarado will be back in court next week. In Pawtucket, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.